Hi guys, this is Leela. <coughs> Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now let's try to see our code. So what we have did it. So when I trying to click on this send, so we are able to send the access token. So instead of sending this access token, so we can save this access token in the cookie, right? So normally for authorization or authentication, there are two process. So sending the access token through the browser so that the browser will try to save so the user will save this access token in the local storage or session storage whatever it may be and they will try to send it whenever <coughs> they want uh, to authenticate in the authorization and the headers using the authorization to header name another process which you can do it is the automatically the server when trying to create the access token it will save automatically in the cookie as an http only cookie so that the javascript will not able to access it and whenever you are trying to make a request automatically if in the cookie the HTTP uh, that X token is present means it will be sent to the server also. So this is one way. Each one has its pros and cons. Okay. So had the authentication only error. So for example, let's say I will try to open. I will explain you in a short form so that so I will explain you. Let me open the notepad please please. Yeah now what i was trying to do it is so here we are trying to have a two types of a http only authentication http only cookie so that means server saves the token in the cookie as an http only so that means only the server only can able to write it and all those things javascript cannot able to access this one and another one is so sending the access token so that you will be sending in, in the header all the time so you will store it in some local storage or something like that okay so each one has its own advantage and all those things so http only cookie what it will have happen is uh, advantage is so cross side effect okay so cross cross origin attack uh, cross scripting attack and all those things will not be able to happen why because the, they will not able to access the access token why because it will be saved in the cookie as an http only so javascript cannot able to access it and so that's why there will be no cross scripting attack and all those things whereas in the access token in the local storage they can able to access it through the storage and if they want to change it means they can change it so like this they can able to do it and the http only cookie means what it will try to do it is so this one will work only in the browser okay so that means within the browser uh, whoever have the cookie enabled that means browsers only has the functionality of the cookie thing so then only they can able to use this one for example in the mobile or something like that in the mobile or any other things if you want to access this http only cookie means it will not work why because mobile apps and all those things doesn't have a cookie enabled into this one so that they need to uh, use this local storage so we can also use a, something like a hybrid uh, type of thing so that means depending on the device so if it is having a, a browser means so you can use that authentication only token and if you are having any devices that doesn't have a cookie support means then you need to use it access token with local storage jwt token you can use it so that depends on your requirement so right now i will be using http only cookie why because i am thinking that uh, i am assuming that it, the apis will be consumed by the browsers so let's try to implement this one so let's go into our thing okay so where we need to implement the sign up and also in the sign in so let's go to the author service.ts file in the sign up so we got the access token so here we need to save this uh, token into the cookie so for saving this token into the cookie we need to have an another package that is nothing but cookie parser so cookie parser so it will try to retrieve the cookie in a json format so the cookies normally it will be getting in a semicolon way so as a text long text you will be able to get it the cookie parser package what it will try to do is it will try to get the cookie and it will convert it into an object so parse cookie headers and populate request.cookies so it will be available made available in the request.cookies so now what i would be trying to do so i will be installing this cookie parser okay so in the future we need to ha have it this one so why because to know that whether the token is available or not so cookie parser so i will be installing this cookie parser let it install and here what i would be trying to do it is so response dot sorry sorry here i should not do it so request body we are having let's try to do it so the cookie parser has been installed so now what we can do it is let's go to our uh, server.ts file so we need to add this middleware so here i can do something like this dot app dot use sorry use of cookie 
parse that. So let's try to see whether it can able to give it or not. It's taking some time. My system is too slow. I don't know why. Okay, let's try. Let's see how they are using this one. Cookie parser. I require cookie parser. Cookie parser. Okay, so they will be using something like this only. So let's go to here. Import. Cook. Sorry, cookie parser from cookie parser okay so this is the cookie parser which i will be trying to use it let's try to see so let's try to cookie parser let's see again let's try to see it again um, let's go to our uh, what i mean to say is here cookie parser so this is the name which we need to use it and let's go to our code and here I will be using this cookie parser and this cookie parser it is getting error so we need to install this one they are saying okay let's install this one so we, uh, we will install this type said that cookie parser also <coughs> let us install it this may take some time yeah it is also installed so now hopefully we should be able to see the cookie parser and also here the name also we will be able to see cookie parse is declared okay cookie parser and this cookie parser directly i can use it here i like this so fine so cookie parser is also done now what i would be trying to do so now let's go to the auth controller not in the auth service why because we don't have an access to the response thing so when we get the access token so here i would be trying to do that response dot cookie dot i want to set the access token access token and the access token which i would be send uh, i would be trying to do it is the access token and here if you want to do also you can do expires so here it should be something like 1000 milliseconds into 60 into 60 so this is the expires thing so here you are having something like this maybe my mistake i think so what it is saying no overload something like this okay so we need to use the max age not this one max age okay so now the max age is this one so we are setting the cookie the same thing we will try to set the cookie here also so we have set the cookie and let's go to the auth.service.es file so here we are generating the token and we are returning the token so nothing is there to do it here from here let's go to our into this one so i am trying to sign in successfully so let's try to see it here so now automatically the cookie has been set now what i what we can do it is now for us in our auth controller there is no need to send the cook access token to the user so here and here there is no need to send it now if you try to see the output for this one let's go to here and uh, when you try to click on this one body so here you will be able to see the response let us see the response Where is yeah message sign in successful automatically the cookie value also stored also it has stored in this one so now what i want to do it is so here we are writing the two two places right instead of writing in the two places what i would be trying to do here cookie.helper.ts file okay i will try to do cookie.helper.ts file so here i can write export function i can so I will be writing here uh, whatever the name you want send a token to cookie I will have this one this takes the rest of response so we need to have the response which is of rest and also we need to have a access token also which is of type string so this is the function which you would be having and in the auth controller let's go to the cookie here and this cookie I can copy eh, why is this copy will not work yeah let's go to the cookie helper and in this one i will paste this one yeah, what? okay fine let's write it rest dot cookie and here i will be using the access token and here i will be sending this access token and here we will be writing max age max age of 1000 into 60 into 60 and here we can do is an http only for so that so it will be only set by the http only and uh, 
okay here http only to true okay and also here also we will try to use secure secure to false so that means it can be accessed both in the http and also in the https if you make it as a secure true means it will be that cookie will be set only in the https only so now we have sent this uh, we have set this one let's go to the auth controller after finishing this so we will be uh, we will be writing send a token to cookie and here we need to send the response and also the access token that's it and here also instead of writing that one let's go here and uh, instead of writing this one we can write it this one finish so now if you try to check the code for this let's try to yeah here this one is http only false and secure all false now let's try to see i will click on this here like this see now http is only true and secure is false and path is this one now this one is an http only cookie only the server uh, only the uh, sir, uh, browser cannot able to access this javascript uh, javascript cannot able to access this cookie so that's it guys about this one authentication token so now we have set up this authentication token instead of sending this access token we are setting in the cookie all the time when you are trying to make a request this access token will be automatically passed there is no need to send uh, separately for this one so that's it guys about this one i will be providing the github repository url in the description below for if you want to refer the code means you can access it and if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you